In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use the Map Gallery tool and the Advanced Bookmark functions. Together, these tools will provide you with an easier way to save, share, and load multiple interactive maps in several simple steps. In an earlier video titled Saving and Sharing Maps, I demonstrated the basic functions of the bookmark tool. With those basic functions, a link is stored in your browser's local memory or cache, and you can reopen that link as long as you're using the same computer and using the same web browser. Now, with the advanced bookmark functions, we've made it easier for you to export all of your bookmarks at once and save them to a text file. You can then share that file with a coworker or transfer the file to a different computer and load all of the bookmarks at once. In addition, we have added the map gallery function. This tool allows you to capture temporary images of maps that you've created in a slideshow. Once a set of images has been collected, a slideshow can be launched within the browser. Let's walk through a quick example and I'll demonstrate how these tools work and how they can be used together in a collaborative workflow. In the example, I've already spent some time exploring a local watershed, and now I have a series of observations that I want to share with my colleagues. I access the bookmark tools through the starred folder button along the left side of the map view. You can see the list of bookmarks here that I've already created, and I'll go ahead and add one more. I add a unique name to the bookmark, then if I wish I can add comments in the notes section that will help describe my findings. Now with all of my bookmarks saved, I can export them to a text file. I'll enter the name of the file and the bookmarks will be saved automatically to my downloads folder. The default folder is defined in my web browser's settings, so I can open the browser settings and change that if so desired. Now that I've backed up my bookmarks to a text file, I can use the delete all button to remove the bookmarks from my browser's cache. You can see here that I get a warning when I choose this option uh, this action will permanently delete my bookmarks, but since I've already saved them, I can safely go ahead and remove them from the browser. Later, when I want to revisit the project, I'll use the Load File button to add my bookmarks back in. I click the button and then use the File Navigator to browse to my file. Now that I've saved and loaded bookmarks, Let's take a closer look at the map gallery function. The map gallery allows us to create and present a slideshow of several different map views. In this example, I'm going to load each of my bookmarks and then click on the add map to gallery button, which is this button symbolized with the camera icon. And each time I click the button, a thumbnail view of the map is placed in my map gallery. When I've collected all the gallery images I want to, I can activate the slideshow mode and display a full screen view of the map images. If I decide I would like to return to exploration mode, I can exit out of the slideshow and click on one of the map gallery thumbnails and the data will be loaded back into the interactive portion of the map. Together these tools will make it easier to collaborate on projects and share findings with your colleagues. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I appreciate you taking the time to learn more about our application.